So this is Carwin. Now we will happily take a stay at the inn. Get everybody fully fit for the adventures to come. I believe there is another secret. Uh, well, there's an antidote that's not the secret I was talking about, but yeah, I'm not going to complain about a free antidote. That would be silly. I believe it is right down here. A frost rod. Something we can't equip yet, but it may prove very useful later on, depending on what jobs we get. So we have another pub. We're going to make a little stop in here for the usual piano. Knock that out. I don't believe there's actually a whole lot to do in Carwin. It's another magic shop that we have no use for. No use for a weapon shop because we are weapons. And this is all... Oh, Copper Curris. Yeah, everybody can use that. That's pretty nice. We will... Yeah, I'll take four of those. Thank you. Get those tossed on. There we go. Get that defense up a bit. Now, I know... There is something we're supposed to learn about here. I don't think it's actually required. Let's head on into the item shop. This is one of the interesting times where the item shop isn't just built into the inn. Yeah, I'm going to take five more potions. And let's go up to... Yeah, let's go up to 15 antidotes. I will grab about five eye drops. Um, Phoenix sounds are a little too pricey right now. We're good on tents, and I don't think we'll need the other stuff anytime soon. So yeah, we'll save money from that. Now, where do we go from here? I don't think there's anything actually story related I need to do. I will browse around a little, just to make sure. Pretty sure this town's really just a pit stop. There's probably a villager that just gives us a hint. Oh, the one in Tycoon is the only one left? I mean, the one we killed at the Wind Shrine? Whoops. We, you just talk to me. Okay, purple flowers that bloom on the North Mountain are poisonous. Good to know. Anything else in the... Anything in the pub? Last time I went upstairs in a pub, something funny happened. Not this time, though. Uh, any secrets? Doesn't appear so. Knights do it two-handed. Alright. Dragon grass on the North Mountain, but there's poison grass. Yeah, yeah, we already learned about the poison stuff. Alright, good to know how to use the map. Alright. So everybody's pretty much telling us we need to go to the North Mountain. So let's do just that. Let's head on out. And have us a save. Everybody's level 7. I'm pretty happy with that level so far. And head on up to the North Mountain. Which I can only assume is to the north. And let's head up and just punch our way through all opposition. Yep, went a little too far north. Oh wow, the levels are really adding up. 
So onward to the North Mountain. So let's explore around. I'm sure there's loot all over this place. This is probably the part of the game where I'm going to start missing items out of forgetfulness or just not being aware of where they are. It's like I know so far I've been grabbing pretty much every secret. The issue is I don't know all of the secrets that well. These are just kind of the ones I'm pulling from memory. So yeah, monks are really strong in this early part of the game, if you couldn't tell by the fact we globaled the last boss. It's that scaling later that's going to hurt though. We may end up doing a lot of grinding. Something I can tell you I'm not looking forward to. Flying cat, punch it. And what else would you do with a flying cat? Pretty straightforward dungeon we've got here. Nope, here's the flowers we were warned about. Just going to not step on those. Thank you. I believe stepping on those poisons your entire party. I bought plenty of antidotes, but I would like to not have to use them. This is the part where my Xbox controller will betray me trying to play a Game Boy Advance game with an analog stick. Nope, yep, save point. We know what that usually means. Everybody's looking in pretty good shape. I think I'll just toss out a handful of potions rather than a tent. Potion, 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 potion. And I'll give you one more. Throw down a save just in case. I know this next boss can be a little tough. But then again, the previous boss was supposed to be kinda tough, but we saw how that turned out. Ah, the helmet of King Tycoon. It was a trap, Lena, no. Lena's been shot. Faris is very angry about this. Even more so than the others. I mean, she even broke the rules of Final Fantasy and jumped a ledge. Or jumped a pit. And then fell off a ledge. <laughs> Forrest will not be denied. She somehow got a rope. And some stakes. Alright, you know what? Let's not question it. Let's just fight. Oh, hey, look, Lena's okay, despite being shot. Okay, that kind of hurt. Let's get our focus on. Now, I can't do this in this battle because of the Fiesta rules, but it's worth noting this boss can be silenced. Which makes her significantly easy. Okay, Lena exploded. Uh, let's get Lena back up. She was poisoned, but I don't think she was particularly weak. Okay, that guy kind of hurts. Alright, Machissa down. Now to deal with her big 
bulking orb covered husband. Oh, good Lena bringing the hurt. Get Forest back up. We really want the AP from boss fights. They get far more than anything else. Jeez, Bards. Bringing the hurt. Down goes Lena again. Gal have taken that hit like a champ. Toss out another Phoenix down. We were good on these. Come on, Lena, get back up. We want to actually attack some instead of just focusing. Oh, never mind. Okay, so that, that boss was a bit rougher. Oh, everybody's learning barehanded. And we got a whip, which we can't use because monks. Monks don't know how to use weapons. Monks only know how to punch. And there's no need to do anything else here. Other than just move on. Oh, a cockatrice. Those are notorious for petrify. So I don't think that's something we have to worry about this early in the game. Level up for Bart's. Hey, we found a dragon. It's here, you. I assume that is her father's dragon. And we have Lena's amazing decision making on display here. Generally, Lena likes to solve problems by figuring out which way is most likely to kill her. Such as walking through multiple poison plants. If she was a little more patient, we had antidotes. And Gallop has it right. Girl's got a super good heart, but... Uh... Not the wisest of decisions. Thankfully, somehow, dragons can cure poison. As you know, reasons. Yes, everybody pile onto the dragon. Alright, now we can fly! And we will do just that. As we head south to our next destination. Welcome to Waltz. We'll have us a nice stop by town. Quick stay at the inn, maybe drop by the pub. This is the item shop, we will need to come back here later. After I take a look around the other stores. So now we... Let's check out the armor shop. Oh, and now we have a Kempo Gi. Which is an upgrade for all four characters. Well, rip money. Let's get those equipped. That's not equipped. That is magic. What exactly does the Kimpo Gi give us? No, oh, it increases strength by one. Defense by two. Lowers the weight. Yeah, that's... That's a pretty nice upgrade. Definitely take that. Can't complain about doing more damage. Again, no purpose in stopping by the weapon shop. Is there a pub we need to visit? Play a little piano, maybe? 
Perhaps a uh, magic shop, not necessarily what I'm looking for. Sir, excuse me, you are in the way. Oh yes, I remember we can get a little item over here. If this person would let me through, thank you. Silver Specs. That is another accessory. It's no leather shoes, but it does prevent darkness. It gives us slight defense boosts. Toss that to Faris since she is missing an accessory. I'm sure those will prove useful at some point. There is a frog in the water. I don't know what I was expecting, but okay. And what is up here? Nothing, just a nice, just a nice view. Okay, cannot climb that. Noted. Okay, Kermit, whatever you say. So let's head on out. Next stop. The castle. Let's go say hi to the king. Maybe we can talk some sense into him and not have him overpower his crystal. Oh, you've heard about the Wind Crystal incident. So news travels that fast, huh? The news traveled faster than we did. Which was pretty quick. Though I guess we have no clue how long we were actually drifting at sea. We could have been gone for months. Oh no, a second meteor. It's crashing nearby! Alright, so we now have a new crisis. So of course our first priority is to explore the castle and loot anything we find. There actually are some interesting... interesting things around the castle. Main issue being that it is... Some of the areas have some very dangerous enemies. So... Kind of want to avoid that, if possible. But of course we're going to scout all of these for items. That phoenix down. Convenient, we needed those. Because that last boss was evil. Okay, well actually I'm pretty sure all the bosses are evil. Mm, what's upstairs here? Oh, a library. And in this room? Oh yes, the Library of the Ancients. We'll be visiting that place soon enough. Is that a stool or a switch? It's a switch. Kind of looked like a stool. Man, that is very true. We can obtain the Shiva summon here. Though, that's going to depend entirely on our next job. As the summoner job does come from the water crystal. So if we get the summoner job, it would actually be in our best interest to... Come back and get Shiva. If we don't get the summoner job, then there's no purpose in getting Shiva at all. Why am I out in the moat? 
It's not aware I could get out here. Says there treasure. I like treasure. Okay, nothing behind the waterfall. How about this waterfall? No. Is there really no purpose to this? Nothing at all, huh? This might actually be easier if I had a thief. Thieves have the ability to uh, see hidden passageways. But that's not going to happen as thief is a job from the f first crystal. So we no longer have a chance at receiving that. Okay, this leads to Shiva. So we're not going to bother with Shiva yet. Ideally, we'd like to have some sort of way of dealing fire damage when we face her. Or if we come back to face her. Okay, this area is extremely dangerous and but worth it. I'm going to go save first. After I check down here. And this is just a prison, nothing really we need to do here. We do have the option of freeing those prisoners, but it just comes back to bite us later. It's kind of a newbie trap. So let's head out. And make a save really quickly. <laughs> 